Hello again! It's time for another bedtime Bible story. Have you ever heard the story of Gideon? He loved God and was willing to do anything for him. So let's read together. Gideon wins the war. We're in the book of Judges now, chapter 7. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges. Here we go. Now Gideon knew that God was going to be with him and would give him victory over his enemies. Then the Lord told Gideon his army was too large. God said, you have too many men. I do not want Israel to brag that their own strength has saved them. So here is what I want to announce to your men. Tell them, those who tremble with fear can turn back and leave. So Gideon did what the Lord asked, and 22,000 men went home. There were only 10,000 left. Then the Lord spoke to Gideon again and said, There are still too many men, so take them down to the water. I will sort them out for you there. So once again, Gideon did what the Lord asked, and he took his men to the water. There the Lord spoke again and said, some men will drink the way dogs do. They will lap up the water with their tongues. Separate them from those who get down on their knees to drink. Gideon watched, and sure enough, some men got down on their knees to drink, and some cupped water in their hands and lapped it like a dog. The Lord then told Gideon to keep those who lapped the water in their hands and to send the rest home. When Gideon did what the Lord said, there were only 300 men left. These were the men who had not laid down their swords and shields to drink water. These were the men who stood watchful for any enemy who might appear while they were getting a drink. Gideon divided the 300 men into three groups. He gave each man a trumpet and a jar with a torch in it. Watch me, he told them. Do what I do. I'll go to the edge of the Midian camp. I and everyone who is with me will blow our trumpets. Blow your trumpets from the positions all around the camp and shout the battle cry for the Lord and for Gideon. It was about 10 o'clock at night when they arrived at the Midian camp. The guard had just been changed. Gideon and his men got into position all around the camp. Then they broke their jars, blew their trumpets, and shouted the battle cry, a sword for the Lord and for Gideon. When the Midianites heard the commotion and saw the lights all around them, they started fighting with each other with swords. They were filled with terror and thought only of escape, not fighting. The armies of Israel took control of the land of the Midianites. Gideon lived a long time after this battle, and he judged the people. They wanted to make him king. But he said to them, I will not rule over you. My son won't rule over you either. The Lord will rule over you. Aren't you glad that you're in the Lord's army, that you love Jesus, and you will do what he wants you to do. I'm so glad that you have chosen to love Jesus and follow and obey his laws. Let's pray. God, we love you so much. We thank you for these Bible stories where we can learn. We thank you that uh, you live in our hearts and that you give us um, the wisdom and the bravery to live the way you want us to live. God, if somebody has not asked you to be their savior, I pray that you will work on their hearts and let them know that you love them and you want them to be your child. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a great night. I hope to see you tomorrow. I love you and God loves you more. Bye.